Donald Trump is taking this Father's Day as an opportunity to make tweets that are not only unhinged per usual, but also thinly veiled threats that are frankly unsettling. Happy Father's Day. I'm sure you're taking this opportunity to spend time with your kids, spend time with your family, spend time with your dad. Fun, positive things. Donald Trump, however, is spending his Father's Day tweeting. But what can we expect from this guy? He hasn't exactly been the pinnacle of family values and being a good father, even though that's what his party would tell you is one of the most important qualities in a man. For context, let's compare this to how some disgusting lefties are spending their Father's Day. Barack Obama says, Happy Father's Day. The most fulfilling job I've ever had is being Sasha and Malia's dad. To all those lucky enough to take on the role of being a father, I hope you enjoy your day. And what does Biden have to say? Happy Father's Day to all the dads, pops, and father figures who have shown us guidance, encouragement, and unconditional love. But then why should we expect to hear anything good from a man who uses Twitter as his personal line to rally his minions, threaten people, and bully people constantly? The man who is running to be the president of the United States tweets like he's a 12-year-old in a COD lobby. I don't think anybody's ever had a more accurate description of the kind of stuff we can hear from Trump than J.B. Pritzker. Let's see what he has to say. Donald Trump is a convicted felon, an adjudicated rapist, and a congenital liar. He's a racist, sexist, misogynistic narcissist who wants to use the levers of power to enrich himself and punish anyone who dares speak a word against him. He has stolen state secrets, compromised our national security, betrayed our constitution, and sacrificed the truth to further his own naked ambition. Donald Trump really is one of the few times that you point to a political figure, and most of your complaints have nothing to do with policy or even party for that matter. I wonder what would have compelled him to say such mean things to Donald Trump. Here's a true social post that I think kind of puts it all in perspective. Donald Trump says sloppy J.B. Pritzker, the rotund governor from the once great state of Illinois who made Chris Christie look like a male model and whose family wanted him out of the business because he was so pathetic at helping them run it, has presided over the destruction and disintegration of Illinois at levels never seen before in any state. Crime is rampant and people are, sadly, fleeing Illinois. Unless a change is made at the governor's level, Illinois can never be great again. That is the man that ran our country for four years and who is currently up to do it for four more. A man that uses his personal platform because he was originally kicked off of Twitter to not only take down other people running this country, but to make fun of them based off of weight. He is literally a bully and somehow not a good one. You'd think the guy that was on TV for as long as he was would at least have a little bit more riz and not talk like a 12 year old. Trump's language has always been an issue and it's not just in his tweets, but it's also in his rhetoric and campaigning. This is an election year, there's campaigning happening. We're not a stranger to that. Ads are being run, videos are being made. That's okay, that's all well and good. Good. So while Biden is, of course, asking for support and money, Trump is encouraging you to, quote, swamp the vote. Do your part to guarantee we win by more than a margin of fraud by casting your vote and taking responsibility for ensuring every Republican and Trump voter in your household cast theirs, too. In this, of course, he's accusing Joe Biden and the left of committing voter fraud. This coming from the same guy who needed to find 11,000 votes. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. So so tell me, Brad, what are we going to do? And think about it. This kind of rhetoric is not small. The amount of divisiveness in this country is already insane. And then when you truly vilify the other side to the point to where you think the other side is not only thinks differently than you, but is actively taking away your democratic process by breaking the law, now you've got a real villain. Now things get a little bit more hairy and maybe some more insane members of the right, which unfortunately is a lot of them, could then justify some more insane actions. This is the same exact stuff that we saw with the January 6th insurrection. This is how you militarize people and this is why it's dangerous. But obviously this is his bread and butter. He loves it. The cult-like following and love that these people have for Donald Trump is insane and extremely disheartening. But he knows he can use this to benefit himself and to rally his troops, hopefully not literally. And even on a day like Father's Day, he continues to do so. Instead of talking about his kids or talking about being a father or anything remotely positive, he continues to use his platform, which was given back to him by Elon Musk, yay, to promote harmful, unhinged, and threatening rhetoric. Here's what he has to say. Happy Father's Day to all, including the radical left degenerates that are rapidly bringing the United States of America into third world nation status, with their many attempts at trying to influence our sacred court system into breaking to their very sick and dangerous will. 
We need strength and loyalty to our country and its wonderful constitution. Everything will be on full display come November 5th, 2024, the most important day in the history of our country. Make America great again. And again, accusing the left of breaking the law, or as he put it, the wonderful constitution. This tweet hits everything on your Donald Trump bingo card. First of all, it's all caps, which is just great. We've got name calling. We've got accusing the left of doing something illegal. We've got not acknowledging his own hypocrisy by praising the wonderful constitution, as he calls it. Yet, obviously, as a man who's had a coup attempt and is a convicted felon, how important is that document to you? And finally, we've got a rally to a date, which the last time Trump rallied people to a date, it was not good. What does full display mean? What's gonna happen that day? And what is he trying to convince people to do? Go out and vote? Because this all caps tweet sounds a little bit more aggressive than that. And of course he's protected. He's telling people to go out and vote. He's simply trying to rally support. How do you think an insane MAGA person is gonna take that? Especially when as far as they are being fed by Trump, they're dealing with a real enemy that is actually affecting the vote and taking away their rights. This is how you radicalize people. And unfortunately, he's radicalizing the people with the most guns and the least amount of brain cells. After what happened on January 6th, we need to start taking these things seriously. We need to start taking language seriously, especially from the President of the United States, because believe it or not, that holds some weight. So happy Father's Day. Make sure you like and subscribe, and please do something more productive with your day. I'm Jeff from Occupy Democrats. Thank you for watching.